the way that we profess and live our, our theology. Right? I think a lot of people, um, when they look at the Methodist Church from the outside, um, most of the times, you know, they see these huge theological tents um, or churches, um, right? But they never really fully understand uh, the theology and how every Methodist um, and clergy person would live that out. And I would attribute that um, to grace and love. My hope leans on that we would be patient, right? Um, although we are eager um, for progress, although we are eager for a change, although we are eager um, um, for justice, um, that we would also uh, wait and be patient on the Lord. Um, so um, as being uh, an elder I right, in my upcoming ordination, um, I'm also stepping into a new role um, as a commissioned naval officer and a chaplain. Um, and one of uh, the things that we push in the chaplain corps is our four competencies, right? Which is provide, care, facilitate, and advise. Um, so a bulk of my work um, um, as a chaplain will be um, ministering and counseling uh, sailors and Marines and Coast Guard men and women um, um, to be able to live out whatever um, um, calling that they may have um, and to freely express um, um, whatever uh, religion um, that they would ascribe to, right? So just making sure uh, uh, that I am a willing vessel of the Lord um, and I'm there to provide the care and to advise um, those men and women of the armed forces.